Character Details Due to being a zombie, Chi Chi lacks facial expression. She hopes that's okay. She may look like a zombie, but she's surprisingly limber due to a strict calisthenics regime. Her memory is poor, she forgets easily, and that is partly why she can seem cold to others. Her appearance is forever frozen at that point of her passing, so estimates of her age are unreliable. Zombies require orders to act, but due to some reason or another, Chi Chi is presently giving herself orders. Character Story 1 Usually, zombies are cold and stiff, which forces them to locomote by hopping about. As such, Chi Chi keeps up a calisthenics regime to retain a human-like form. The 77th generation master of the Wang Shen funeral parlor, Hun Tao, doesn't see the point of all this. Whenever she meets Chi Chi, she will say, It would be easier if you would just let me bury you. Chi Chi, of course, has no wish to be buried and so conducts her exercises at night when no one's about. Chi Chi's memory falls far behind those of non-undead disposition. If she does not continue to reinforce her impressions of someone, she will completely forget them in three days tops. But who knows, this might be a good thing, for a person with painful memories forgetting may, in fact, be a form of release. The person Chi Chi must remember most, not only does this person have a very punchable face, but she also shows up every single day. As such, Chi Chi isn't too concerned about her poor memory. Character Story 2 Chi Chi is very petite indeed, but is in fact a very powerful zombie. Her short stature is hardly any impediment, but is instead good for high speed movement. In combat, Chi Chi will unleash the self control that she usually maintains, allowing her body to return to an undead state, increasing her strength and speed. You're dead. Once she has stoically defeated her enemies, Chi Chi will once again get her muscles under control, returning to her normal state. She has been threatened in the past by treasure hoarders while picking herbs by herself. Now, a little girl, all by herself, seems like an easy target, no? Who would have thought that this girl could send a whole crew flying? This is why we should always remember never to judge a person based on appearances. Or a zombie, for that matter. Character Story 3 Zombies mostly require orders from the person who awakens them to move, but strictly speaking, Chi Chi has never been awakened. As such, she counts as a very rare case of zombie that gives itself orders. If these orders are simple ones like defeat the enemy, Chi Chi has no problem fulfilling them. But when faced with complex instructions such as go to Junyan Karst, climb the sheer rock faces and pick herbs, Chi Chi sometimes winds up stuck below the cliffs unable to give up no matter how many times she tries and fails to scale the cliff. The method to cancel her orders is very simple. Hug Chi Chi from behind, tell her something like, I love you the most, and the orders will dissipate, just like that. Unfortunately, there's just no element of sincerity when Baizu does it, leading to greatly reduced results. Perhaps someday, someone will come along who understands that such words cannot be spoken lightly, and who slowly but carefully releases the hold that Chi Chi's orders have over her. What will Chi Chi's response be then? Character Story 4 this ancient story has long been forgotten by mortals. An ordinary herb-picking lass named Chi Chi lost her way and trespassed the realm of the Adepti. Injuring her right leg in a fall, she hurriedly hid in a cavern to rest. Even occupied as she was in bandaging her wound, she could hear sounds that did not belong to the mortal plane. But she could have never expected that with a huge crash, she would forever be trapped between life and death. Whether Adepti or Demons, Just or Wicked, all understood that she was an innocent mortal caught in the crossfire. Or perhaps it was by the will of the Heaven that she received a vision in her dying moments, and so ended this contention between Adepti and Demon. The Adepti could not bear to let her die, and even imparted to her a portion of their strength meaning to breathe life back into her body. Chi Chi did indeed awaken and live again, but went into a berserk state, unable to control the Adepti energy raging through her. Seeking to end the disturbance, Mountain Shaper had no choice but to seal the hapless maiden in amber. Character Story 5 After hundreds of years, Chi Chi was discovered by humans, still trapped in the amber, and was brought to Wang Shen Funeral Parlor for burial. The mountain roads were treacherous, however, and the amber was bumped about. Coupled with the passing of many years, 
The seal on Chi-Chi was all but spent. She awakened in the middle of the night, broke the amber in secret, and fled. Following the herb-picking habits of her previous life, Chi-Chi headed right for the hills. By chance, she met Baizu, the boss of Boo Boo Pharmacy, on the way, and he took her in. Now, Baizu was a doctor of great skill, but he was hardly a man of high caliber or great courage. Even so, he took her in, never mind that her memory was so poor that she could not even sort herbs out. It does seem that his acceptance of Chi-Chi has something to do with his own personal pursuits. Chi-Chi is stiff, but not slow, and has long realized this. However, she does not take it to heart. Perhaps she has seen too much, or been alone for too long. But what remains true is that she treasures his concern, even if there is some other motive behind it. A Home and Away Handbook of Practical Wisdom for the Undead Chi-Chi carries something with her that looks like a notebook. Chi-Chi's memory is very poor, so it is an object of irreplaceable importance if she is to smoothly go about her daily life. The words within are written in centuries-old style and are very elegant indeed. The first page is an instructional on calisthenics. Moving past that, one finds the descriptions of various herbs and some orders. Chi-Chi needs to give herself orders, so she has very precise instructions to ensure smooth transition. She has also dutifully written down all the things she needs to do in a day. Recently, she has also added a section on brain training and mnemonic methods. At this point, it has become a true dummy's guide on just about anything. But if the day ever comes when Chi-Chi also forgets to look at her notebook, there will truly be nothing for it then. Vision Chi-Chi's vision was given to her in the last moment of her life. She wanted to stop the clock from turning. She wanted to live happily again. She feared death. She wanted to live. She missed her family. These feelings coalesced at last into ice. If only I could freeze time, how wonderful would that be? As she thought thus, tears fell from the moribund girl's eyes upon the vision that had peered before her. The mighty and illuminated Adepti all acknowledge this as an illegitimate form of illumination. The yearning of humanity for bygone days is, after all, a desire to protect that past.